Let's get real for a second. Trimming videos is like a walk in the park. Wrong. <laughs> Trust me, I've been down that rabbit hole before and it's not simple as you might think because you gotta watch the videos, you gotta figure out which areas to cut, you have to go through the timeline and figure out which area there's no sound so that you can cut it manually and then put together a video that sounds great. So see, I actually get so tired just thinking about it. <laughs> but don't worry, I've got your back. Today, we're discussing my all-time favorite AI tool for trimming and cutting videos, which is Descript. We're gonna dive deep into how easily you can trim your videos in Descript. We're gonna discuss its pros and cons, plus its price tag. So that way, you can make a decision if Descript is the right tool for you. And stay tuned because I've got an alternative to Descript that will blow your mind, especially if you're a creator who wants to save time and money. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. Once you are in Descript, go ahead and open a new project. So you're able to do a video project, audio project, quick recording, or remote recording with other people. So for this video, we're gonna do a video project. So once your video is uploaded, you will see the transcription here. So the first thing that I usually do is shorten the word gaps. And I would choose one second and then shorten all. So in this introduction video, there are only two word gaps. And word gaps is basically the silences. Sometimes I have many pauses in between like 10 seconds or sometimes even one minute because I have to think about what I say or read the script. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is find the filler words. As you can see, I have many as here and I'm gonna right click on that word and I will click remove filler words. So it actually tells me that there are eight more words found so I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of the fillers. I can upgrade to Pro if I want to remove all of the other fillers. Just by doing the shorten word gaps and then removing the filler, I feel like that's already a good place to start. But now there are many bad cuts here because I keep starting and restarting the same sentence until I get it right. So Kathleen Smart Gut is a really great tool with many advantages. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete all the bad takes and I'm just gonna scan very quickly. I know exactly what I said in this video, so it's very easy for me to delete them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and edit the rest of the videos. I'm gonna take away the bad cuts, any other sentences that I think are redundant. So for me, it's like editing an article. I'm gonna remove all the fluff and make sure that my video is tight. So when you are satisfied with the trim version of your video, there's actually more options that you can do. So for me, I just like to trim the videos. So I don't actually want to edit it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share project access to my video editor. I'm just gonna type in his email and make sure that he has access to this project. And once he has access, then he can go in and add all of the overlays, transitions into the video. When you hit publish, you can actually copy the link and share it with anyone and they'll be able to view the video. I sometimes use Descript to replace Loom because I usually hit the limit for the free loom. I use Descript to create onboarding videos for the writers in my team. But of course, if I want to export this and upload it in my video channel, and exporting videos in Descript is super easy and super flexible. So of course, you can export your video. So when you are recording Descripts, it can actually have multiple compositions inside one project. I usually do that so I can separate the introduction where it's just me talking to the camera and I want to be able to add another composition wherein I'm doing the screen share like I'm doing now. That's easier for me to edit the videos in case I want to change something or re-record, then it's easy to record that section. My video editor then combines all of those compositions into one long video. So when exporting, you can export this current composition or you can export all compositions as one video. And you wanna make sure that the resolution is max, the quality is high, and the audio. So for me, I usually just keep it the with the default setting. This video with VidPros, because I am working with the VidPros team, they will actually do all of the post editing stuff with the audio and they do amazing work. All right, so I'm just gonna export that and it will be in my downloads folder as an MP4. I can send this to my video editor at VidPros or I can upload it to my YouTube channel. So as you can see, it's super easy. So I actually go beyond exporting the video. My favorite here is to export the transcript and make sure to turn on the speaker labels on every paragraph. That way I understand who is speaking. And then I'm gonna go into ChatGPT and turn the transcript into a blog post. You can export just the audio and upload that as a podcast. You can also turn your videos into a fun gifts that you can post on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. You can also create gifts out of your video if that suits your branding, and it's super easy to do that. So one important feature of Descript is overdub. It can easily turn text into speech with ultra-realistic AI voice generation. 
Hi, my name is Carla. Unlike these other examples, which are the voices of real Descript customers, I'm a voice that's included with Descript that you can use for your own projects. Hello. Hello. So you can either choose your own custom voice, so that means you have to record your voice and allow Descript to turn your voice into an AI, or you can choose from the range of stock voices to bring your content to life. Now let's talk about the pricing because this can actually make or break your decision. Luckily, Descript is very cheap and it's one of the tools that I actually pay every month without really thinking about it because I only pay $15 per month for a ton of features, including the ability to trim videos, record a podcast, all of the trimming features that we've discussed in this video and a whole lot more. So that's my favorite part. And I know for different creators, the needs might be different. So overall, Descript has four pricing structure. So you have the free, the creator, the pro and the enterprise. You can actually get a lot already from its free plan. You're able to transcribe videos, you're able to trim videos, but there's a limit of hour of videos that you can transcribe and export using Descript's free plan. And also you are limited to one video per month. And also if you're going to export a video, the resolution limit is 720p and you can only export one water free mark video. And if you're exporting videos, it usually comes with a watermark after the first video that you exported. So the first video comes without a watermark. So it's still a pretty comprehensive free plan that if you're only producing one video per month or one video live stream, you can definitely get away with a free Descript plan. So the creator plan is $15 and the pro plan is $30. For the creator plan, you have up to 10 hours of transcription time. And for the pro plan, you have up to 30 hours of transcription time. Both plans allow you to export your videos without the watermark and both plans also allow you to export videos up to 4K. Now the main difference that you really should think about when choosing creator plan or pro plan is if you're going to use the overdub feature. So in the creator plan, you are limited up to 1000 vocabulary. With the pro plan, there is no limit of the word vocabulary. And I'm going to give you an example of the difference. If I turn my blog post into a podcast, I will use overdub for that because it's perfect for translating text into my voice. But if I have the creator plan, some of the words will be gibberish. So for example, it won't recognize the word blog post then it will make up a word that sounds gibberish. So it's actually super funny when you have the creator plan and some of the words are not recognized. But with a pro plan, practically all the words are recognized and your audio will make sense. Now, if you are a bigger creator or if you're a company that's looking for more customized options, they do have an enterprise, but it comes with a custom price. So you have to talk to their sales team so that you can get the price specifically for what you need. And the main difference for the enterprise plan is just it's unlimited everything plus their customizations of logging in and you get priority support and you get a dedicated enterprise executive and you can upgrade to the creator plan if you're starting to realize that you have more videos to process you have more videos to transcribe and edit i only upgraded to the pro plan because i wanted access to the unlimited word vocabulary and then i downgraded back to the creator plan just because i don't use overdub a lot so do I recommend Descript? Absolutely. It is great for solopreneurs and creators who don't have a team yet and you just want to get your content out and do away with simple trimming and editing. So that's actually how I started. I just wanted to create short YouTube video tutorials on my YouTube channel. And I think Descript is also great for people who are producing podcasts because after you record your videos, you can do simple editing and remove the filler words and you can have the transcript exported so you can have the show notes published on your site. If you don't want to edit your videos and also want to go beyond the trimming capabilities of Descript, now I've got the perfect solution for you. You gotta try out VidPros. So VidPros is an on-demand video editing company where you get access to expert fractional video editors for a simple monthly subscription fee. So we actually have a video where we discuss the best path for you when it comes to trimming projects because there are actually different paths for you to take and it really depends on your project and your budget. So make sure to watch that videos before subscribing to any tools and make sure to check out our other videos so that you can compare all of your options from working with a virtual assistant to using AI tools to using video editing agency and vidpros. All right, there you have it. Are you glad that you stayed with me till the very end? If yes, then make sure to type that in the comments below. And if you have ideas for tutorials that we need to cover in our YouTube channel, make sure to comment them below because we are excited to create this content for you and help you figure out the best path when it comes to your video projects. Also, we have a ton more videos discussing other AI trimming tools like Capwing, 
Wisecat, and Video.ai. So make sure to check that in our playlist before subscribing to any AI tool. That way you can scope out everything and find the best tool that is right for you. And of course, please hit the subscribe button so you'll get notified when we have new videos about AI tools. My name is Irene Chan and I'll see you in the next video.